creature with interlocking gears on legs discovered vertical line Fox News Fox News Digital Network Fox News Fox Business You report Fox News Radio Fox News Latino Fox Nation Fox News Insider Login Account You're logged in as profile Log out Search site Listen to Fox News Radio live On air now on air personalities home video politics u.s opinion entertainment tech science health travel lifestyle world sports on air previous slide next slide science home archaeology air space planet earth wild nature natural science dinosaurs slide shows Creature with interlocking gears on legs discovered. By Tanya Lewis, published September 14, 2013. Liveance. The information gears on the hind legs of a plant or insect are shown in this scanning electron micrograph image. Image courtesy of Malcolm Burroughs. Gears are ubiquitous in the man made world, found in items ranging from wristwatches to car engines, but it seems that nature invented them first. A species of plant hopping insect, Isis coleotretus is the first living creature known to possess functional gears. A new study finds the two interlocking gears on the insect's hind legs help synchronize the legs when the animal jumps. To the best of my knowledge, it's the first demonstration of functioning gears in any animal, said study researcher Malcolm Burroughs, an emeritus professor of neurobiology at the University of Cambridge in the United Kingdom. Burroughs and colleague captured the gears motion using high-speed video, as the young bug prepares to leap, it meshes the gear teeth of one leg with those of the other, like cocking the gun. Then, the insect releases its legs in one smooth, explosive motion. See video of the insect gears in action. Hopping in sync each leg sports the curved strip of 10 to 12 gear teeth that attach to the trochanteron on the insect's legs. These structures were described in 1957, but no one had demonstrated that the gears were functional, Burroughs told Lysians. Insects' hind legs can be arranged in two ways. The legs of grasshoppers and fleas move in separate planes at the sides of their body, whereas those of champion jumping insects, such as planthopters, move beneath their body along the same plane. Thus, planthopters' legs need to be tightly coupled. If there were to be a slight timing difference between the legs, then the body would start to spin, Burroughs said. The gears synchronize the movement of the hind legs to within about 30 microseconds of each other much faster than the nervous system could achieve, according to the study findings, detailed in the September 13th issue of the journal Science. The seven most amazing bug ninja skills. Sometimes, Burroughs observed that the gear slipped past one another, but then they finally engaged, the two legs became synced. Burroughs did an experiment with a dead plant thought when he pulled one of its legs, both of them extended rapidly. Thus, the mechanics of the skeletal system alone can synchronize the legs, he said. Gears are for kids to coax are only found in immature planthopters, or nymphs, and are lost during the final molt. Adult planthopters use friction between their legs to achieve the same effect as the gears. Adults may ditch their gears partly because gear teeth can break, jeopardizing the insect's survival, Burroughs said. Nymphs shed their exoskeleton five or six times before reaching adult size, and could correct the damage, whereas adults are stuck with one body. Adults also have larger, more rigid bodies, so friction could be a more effective way to sync up their legs. It's very exciting to see one after another component of human mechanical engineering being discovered in the living world, too, said Alexander Rydell, curator of the State Museum of Natural History Karlsruhe in Germany who was not involved in the research. Rydell suggested another reason the adult insects lack gears could be that unlike nymphs, adults have wings, which could help direct their flight. There are a few other animals that possess structures resembling gears. The cockwheel turtle, as its name suggests, has a gear on its shell, which is purely decorative. Some reptiles have cockwheel heart valves that increase the resistance to blood flow and some insects have gear-like knobs that are used to produce chirping sounds. But none of these structures functions as a gear, per southeast. Burroughs originally came across gear-legged insects in a colleague's garden in Germany. He searched in vain for them at home in England.